Hey everyone, here is our IQ test for today. Let's say we are given these three rows and three columns and the first eight pictures are already given. We want to find what is the picture in this cell at the last column of the last row and we are given these six options. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this interesting IQ test. Now let's solve this problem together. Our goal is to discover the pattern from the first to the second in order to find the third picture in each row. So let's trace first this first picture and let's use red. Now, what is the relation between this first picture and the second picture in order to get this third picture? Let me slide the figure that I traced. Notice now that the pattern is obvious. So that you can see the pattern, let me move this a little bit like this. Notice that this part is the intersection of these two pictures. And that is also what is missing here. This intersection part is the one that's not in the third picture. So to make that clearer, let's erase this intersection part. And notice now that we have exactly the same picture. So the pattern is we overlap the two pictures and we erase their intersections. Let's implement that in the second row. So let's trace the first picture, overlap the two, and erase the intersection. So this is the intersection part. Let's erase that, and you have this third picture. So implement the same rule for the third row. Overlap the two pictures, and here there are two overlaps. This part here, erase that, and this part here, erase that. And this is now what should be in this third picture, and that is clearly letter A. So the answer is letter A. We have here three rows and three columns. In the first item in the first row, we have a three by three square with one shaded square at the lower right-hand corner. Then in the second column of that row, there are now two shaded squares at the lower left-hand column. And in the third column of the first row, all the three shaded squares are at the topmost row. Then in the middle row, you do not start at the lower right-hand corner, but you started with two shaded squares at the lower left. Then that goes to the top, then that goes to the right. Now in the third and final row, you have here at the top, you have here down, what would be the next picture in the space occupied by the question mark? You can pause the video and see if you can answer this IQ question. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by identifying the rules that govern this pattern. So let's remove first the lower two rows and let's replicate this first picture here at the left. To create this second picture, let's slide that picture that we just created, but they are not the same. So let's rotate the picture clockwise like that, but still they are not the same. But notice that if we add one more square here, then we can have the exact replica of the original picture in the second column. So let's add that square and let's use red to denote that that is our added square. So what we did was we added that red square. Now let's follow the same rules and check if we will arrive at this third picture here following these three rules. So let's slide what we already have here, then rotate that picture clockwise that's the result. And let's add another square at the end where we added the previous red square. And here is the result. And notice that we have the exact third picture. So it seems that our rule here is working. Let's use the same rule to test the entries in the second row. Let's remove the first row. So let's replicate the first picture. Following these three rules, let's slide to the right. Let's rotate clockwise direction. And let's add a square at the end here. And we have the exact replica of the second picture here. Then following the same rule, slide to the right, rotate clockwise direction. Then we add another square next to the previous red square. And we have the exact replica of the third picture here. So our rules is really working. So we can now use the same rule in order to answer our IQ question. So we begin by replicating the first picture here. Then slide it to the right, rotate clockwise direction, and add a red square here. Then repeat the process, slide to the right, rotate clockwise direction, and add a red square at the end of this picture here. And so 
we now have our final answer and that is letter E. Thank you very much.